Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to configure in the npm client to download the npm packages from Nexus registry instead of external remote registry. In the diagram, we have npm client. So this npm client can be in Windows operating system, Linux operating system, or Mac operating system. So if we don't have Nexus registry, the npm clients will download the packages from external public registry. In this video, we are going to see how to configure the client to download the packages from Access registry instead of external public registry. Here we will consider two cases. One is without any authentication, that means anonymous users. And in the second case, we will see how to configure this authentication to download corresponding npm packages. Let us start. So now we have logged into the Nexus repository URL. Here in the last video, we have already seen how to create the three repositories the hosted repository, proxy repository, and group repository. In this video, we are going to use this group repository for downloading the packages. So let us click on this. If you want to see how to create the repositories, please go through the link in the description section. So this is the URL we are going to use for downloading the packages. So now let us configure the client to download the packages from this URL without any authentication. For this demo, let us take an example here. So this is the directory in the Windows operating system. The same will be applied to Linux as well. The only difference will be the user home location here. So let us initialize an npm project here. npm is initialized in this directory. Let us verify the package.json is created here. So it is created. Now let us try to download and install an example package express for this project. To verify which registry is being used for downloading the packages, we can enable the log level here. So let me enable it. Here the log level is info. So let us try to execute this. Here from the output we can see that the express package and all the dependency packages are downloaded from the external public registry. Now let us use Nexus registry instead of this public registry. So for that let us delete node modules and package log JSON. So now we will download the express module with our Nexus registry. So in the first method we can directly specify the registry in the command line itself. Here we need to provide the registry option. So let us copy this URL of the group repository. So here we are using Nexus NPM group repository. So now we can see from the output the Nexus group registry is used instead of external public registry. So this is one way of specifying the registry in the command line itself. In the second method, so instead of specifying this registry in every command, we can change this registry location in the npm config file itself. So for that let us use the npm config command. So let us see the registry location. So this is the default registry. Let us change this registry to our group registry. For that we can use npm config command again. Here we need to use the set option and the registry. So this is the group repository location. Now the registry is changed. Let us verify the same. So now the registry is pointing to our group repository in Nexus. We can also verify this from the config file. So for that we can use cat. This is the user home location. Here there is a dot npmrc file. We can verify the content. Now we can see that the registry is pointing to whatever we have set using npm config command. So now I'll delete the node modules and package log JSON file and we'll re-execute the command. Now we do not need to specify this registry from the command line. So now from the output, we can see that the packages are downloaded from the Nexus public registry. Now we have seen how to download the packages using anonymous users without any authentication. Now let us see the case with authentication. If the organization does not allow anonymous authentication to download the packages, then we have to configure some other settings. Let us see that. In the Nexus, in the security section, let us go to anonymous access section. So here by default, it will allow anonymous users to access the server. So let us disable this one and save the configuration. Now anonymous access is disabled. That means the user should authenticate if they want to download the packages.
After disabling the anonymous access, let us try to re-execute the npm install command. Before that, let us delete the node modules. Here I am installing the express package again. Now we can see there is an error unable to authenticate with 401 code. This means the user should authenticate themselves for downloading the packages. So now in Nexus, let us create a new user and we'll use that user for downloading the packages. So before creating a user, let us create a new role. So this is the Nexus role. So here I have provided npm read role. So here we need to select the permission corresponding to our group repository. So this is the read permission. So I am selecting this. So let us save this configuration. So now we have created a role. Let us create a new user and assign this role. So we need to provide a password here. So here we need to select the role. Now we can click on create local user. So now the user is created. We will use this user credentials for downloading the packages. So for that let us go back to the client section. So for using the credentials in npm client, we have to encode the user. So here we need to give the npm user and the password. And we need to provide this to base64. So now we have to use this encoded token in our npm configuration. To use this token, we have to set a new variable. For that let us use npm config again. Now we can verify the same in the npm rc file. Here we can see that a new property is added to .npmrc config file. Now let us try to download the package again. Here it is providing an error invalid auth configuration. So this authorization property needs to be renamed to corresponding repository wise auth token. So let us try to change this property. So let us change this property directly in the .npmrc file. So here this property needs to be renamed. So now the property is changed to repository wise authentication variable. Let us save this configuration. Let us try to reinstall the package. Now from the output we can see that the package and the dependencies are successfully downloaded and installed from Nexus registry. This is how we can download the packages from Nexus registry when authentication is enabled. So in this video we have seen how to configure in npm client to download the packages from Nexus registry instead of npm public registry. I hope this video helps. Thanks a lot for watching.